Hello everyone, this is the Russian Prince and our hearts of Vine 4, let's play! This time we'll be using the Black Ice mod because I want to try it out. I also want to try out the August Storm mod, but at the moment it is having some issues, so I will be waiting with that mod. It's apparently not the correct version that's uploaded on the Steam Workshop and whatnot, so we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, here we are. We're going to be playing as Spain with Black Ice. Let's see how this mod is. Let's start. And I probably should delete these saves. There we go. Playing in Spain. Now. Oops. Yeah, we did the good old... Yeah. We just pressed too many buttons while the game was loading. You're not supposed to press anything while the game is loading. So yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to do it again. Delete this. And I'm gonna hit start, select Spain, make sure, save here, and not touch anything before the game loads. There we go, that's fine. So, already I can see, yeah, I did hear about the counters, they're like super huge. Wow, take so much space. But anyway, what are we going to do right now? Well, first of all, to make sure that any troop anywhere is like... Do you have like troops in more places? I don't think so, right? So I'm gonna have 17 divisions and add them to a new army group. Love these guys. Now what I can send them to is there. Yeah, that's where I'll send them to. Next thing I want to do is I want to put them all as Division de Infanteria. Next. I want to get rid of Brigada Infanteria, or should I though? Support artillery, the division headquarters, engineer company. You know what? We can keep that probably. And then just replace some stuff with more. Yeah. So, yeah. This brigade will be done. We have a garrison. But it's not how we want it to be, so we'll destroy it. Division of Cav. That's not how we want it to be either, so we'll destroy it again. Uh, but we can't. I actually have to put these guys as reserves. There we go. We got a Montana. We don't have anything, so there's that. Now, army. Everything is in that, so we fixed our army composition. Sufficient resources. Of course, we need more oil. But, let's look at national focus. What's the most important one? Develop new doctrines. I am not so sure. Appoint a new advisor. Is that important? No. Fascist propaganda. Mm. Form our own faction? No, no, no. Attack France. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you join the Axis, unite the Iberian Peninsula. That would be important. So appointing a new advisor will be quite important. We gain more unity, we gain lots of stuff, but developing new doctrines is good. Mm. We do want the expansion of a lot of stuff. So in Lyon. Yeah, this is not great because this is simply too much. Oh no, this is good. Colonial infrastructure is not ideal. Expand the Spanish mines. That sounds like a good idea. Develop the private sector. That sounds like a good idea as well. But I think... Hmm, fascist propaganda, recruitment drive, join the Axis, and then unite the... So this is... Well, you know what we're gonna do first. We're gonna go for the tech. That's the first thing we're gonna do. And of course we have headquarters command. We have we're gonna have to get basic HMG teams. Apparently, but no, first things first, we go for engineering. That is the most important. We go for engineering. Wait, first. No, let's look at land doctrines first. Okay, we don't have anything, which is good. We're probably gonna go superior firepower. We're gonna research this one and then we look at industry. What are we gonna go for? We need, there's like so much to research here. It's insane, absolutely crazy. 
Concentrated industry, dispersed industry. This is, of course, construction. Steel industry. Oh. Hmm. Can make metal from that and synthetic oil. Hmm. You know what? We need the basic machine tools, of course. And we're gonna need civilian plus 2%. Are you insane? Plus 2% is like nothing. Wow. Really? It's just plus 2%? Then these are like so little. Barely anything. Plus 2%, it just doesn't make sense. Since it's... Hmm. I don't get the industry is no longer like the de facto best choice then. <laughs> oh, we definitely need this. Yeah, we definitely need the pre-war infantry equipment. We never got it. So that's kind of going to be important for sure. And then if we look at support battalions, yeah, those will be important. Generic armor. We're not going to get any armor, but we're going to get some artillery probably. Force artillery. Ugh. Truck transport, what? <clears throat> We're gonna need the medium artillery is probably the best choice. Or maybe heavy, we'll see. But that's not our problem right now. So I'm gonna have to go for uh, the support battalions or no. Actually this is this is good right now, but the thing is the focus, that is the question. We need to choose the focus, and the focus is probably going to have to be appointed a new advisor. Hmm, you know what? Attack France and recolonize Colombia. Uh, now we can do that. We can do all of this separately, right? So, recruitment drive. Yeah, it wouldn't help so much, but we could join the Axis eventually, but we can do this on our own anyway, so what we should do is we should expand the civilian industry. Actually, no, we can take the first one here, appoint a new advisor. There we go. And after that, we can get... we have lots of free military factories. Ooh, I like how this... this thing is right here. This is quite cool. Constructions... Production. Yeah, I don't want to construct all of these now, do I? But then again, we have the infantry equipment and we have support equipment. We don't need to show everything that's outdated. However, we need to go for uniforms, boots, and stuff. Missing equipment production. Yeah. Garrison maintenance. What? All right, there we go. Now it's like one of the most important ones. Of course, we're gonna need to get some more infantry equipment. Insufficient resources. Well, we need some more oil. We're gonna get some oil from... Let's try Romania. There we go. Should work okay. Now, all our units should be moving across there. We're gonna need a commander. Oh, okay, we have a nice field marshal here. Defensive doctrine is nice. Decent general. Mm. Doesn't say anything. Panzer leader. Okay, that's not necessary. Just pick this guy though. He should be able to help us. Three civilian factories. Well, clearly with civilian factories, one needs to make more civilian factories. So I'm just gonna create a bunch of civilian factories. <clears throat> military will get. Well, we'll build more military later because. Yeah. Hopefully we'll be able to. And yeah, the light artillery is kind of eh. Yeah. Alright then, so what are we gonna do here? Well, it is time to unpause. It took us a while, but hey, we're gonna unpause now and I'm gonna send all the troops on the border here. With France, and there's gonna be again at some point uh should I put it? Okay, I have to merge the, na the entire navy here again, and I have to merge 
All the fighters again, probably here in Andalusia. So, merge the fighters. Then I wish I could actually type in the number, you know. Okay, 100 is ideal. Green army command, huh? Yeah, this isn't great. Eh, it's not great. We need better army command, and for that... Well then. Horse artillery trans. Basic HQ equipment. Yes, we will need basic HQ equipment. What's that? Or is it just HQ equipment? And we're gonna need... What? Liaison vehicle. What is this? You also need more stuff. Ah, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Alright then. Hopefully that'll work out then. Yay! Preparation for the Winter Olympic Games. Oh no, I just bugged the whole game now, didn't I? <laughs> Alright then, one second. Get back to it. Again. I do like the loading screen though. now back in and there's no more bugging stuff. Force artillery transport and fighter. That's annoying. Okay, the horse artillery transport needs to be there. If we're gonna use horse or, hmm, horses to transport them, that is, which I don't think so. I'm not gonna go for that. We're gonna go for artillery truck transport. Yeah. Oh no, horse artillery transport is actually just okay. <clears throat> yeah, heavy artillery just takes way too long, so I think, yeah. We're gonna start producing the artillery stuff here too. What is it? Heavy artillery? No. Force artillery transfer. There it is. Yay. Appoint the new advisor. Well, we've done that. Now, what's next? Fascist. Support democracy in our country. Of course, it's gonna be fascist, right? No. What we're gonna do is expand civilian industry because that's important. Of course, we need more units on the field. Look at how this guy is holding his weapon. What is that? Oh, he's lightning something, but he still he's holding his weapon awkwardly. <laughs> That's so weird. Yeah, I would love to see Germany deal with France. That would be cool. And I hope they do. Again, we are actually facing some attrition. Okay. Dance show, whatever. Now I need some rubber. Rubber will come from... UK, of course. One civilian factory. I hate using civilian factories, but hey, I kind of have to. I'm gonna speed it up, because speed 4 is really too slow, no divisions, and basic training, of course. Missing equipment production, fighter. Well, that's alright. Now, however, 
We're gonna need one guy that gives us extra political power. This is only just 5%, really. Ugh, oh, he got nerfed. So because of that, we're gonna need the industrial research time guy. Or the military theorist. Military theorist actually is always good. So we're gonna start with that, and then the industrial guy, and then probably the war economy. Or war economy, actually. Yeah, I think war economy. Anyway, that's enough for now. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Follow me on social media. I'll see you next time.